It's a clean sheet of ice and a beautiful night for hockey. Hi, everybody. James Savalski along with Ray Ferraro for EA Sports. It is about time to drop the puck. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. And here we go. The game's underway. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. That's a message sent right there. This is the tone for the game, the way they want to play it. John LOL's loving the puck. Pass taken behind the goal. Pass broken up. The Maple Leafs have it now. Passes the puck over to Harvey. And now it's grabbed by Freezy. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Came up with the save on that play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. There are times you can see that interference penalty, James, coming from a mile away. That one was pretty obvious. Toronto's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Oh, I love playing on the power play. It's my favorite thing I did. So here you are in a scoreless game. These guys can't get on the ice fast enough for their first opportunity. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to St. Louis. Harvey's got the puck. Handles the pass. And that's broken up. Quick pass to John LOL. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Good hit on the play. Here's a short pass to Frazy. Slides the puck over. Shot! Oh, he'll feel that one later on, but what a block. From one point man to another. Here's a chance! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Play is called for offside. St. Louis really good at creating space for himself, even when he's turning on a dime. Guys, his elite edges zone ability allows him to carry that speed into those turns and open up some lanes for him to maneuver in. Let's see what he does here. Grabs control of it at the point. Here he is, wrists it on that. He scores. He got this puck off his stick in the high slot. He moved around, find some clean ice, and then beat the goaltender. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. The Maple Leafs looking against the half wall. Into the corner of the attacking area. The Wild have possession along the boards. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Quick feed to Harvey. Can't make the connection on the pass. Marchand's got it in the defensive end. He got all of that one. Yeah, and it was that guy who's picking himself and his stick up off the ice. Harvey's going to play it against the half wall. A tremendous play on the offensive end. Keeps hold of the puck. Pushes it across to Marchand. Nice feed. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Dished on over to Harvey. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Moves it quickly over to Frazee. How did he stop that one? The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. get a hold of the puck in their own end. Taken by St. Louis. Takes 
the feed. Cutting to the slot. Get some wood on it to keep it out. Save made by the goalie. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. More than half the period has expired. 1-0 the score. Toronto's won the faceoff. Moves the puck to John LOL. The Maple Leafs will play it in their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Frazee. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Looks to set up at the point now. Feeds it down low. Montreal's regained possession of the puck. Toronto's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Bernier. Drouet's got the puck in his own zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Moves it to Drouet. Gains the zone through center. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Picked up along the wall by Frazee. Scoops up the puck now. It's Some only good game. work to place that turnover. There's the whistle. We've got it offside. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Harvey's one possession. Concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Ray, while we have a moment, give me a sense of what you made of that first period. Toronto's probably pretty happy with that first period that they played. They had the puck a lot, but what they have to change is they trail by one. Throws it in. Gets it over to Bernier. Toronto's in on the offensive oh. attack now. Freezy's only focus right now is to get the heck off the ice here, James. He's not feeling right, and you can tell, obviously, watching him skate. Scores! And just like that, we are tied. So you got to keep grinding back in the game. You fall behind, you can't give up. You've got to find a way to make an opportunity without taking too many chances. It's a fine line, James, but they've done it perfectly. Gives it right back. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Savoy. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a move. It's only a game. Why you have Man, to be mad? Dad, sorry, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see the defender step right into that hit. Takes a move. Pass save. Oh, he got all of that one. Protects the puck around all sorts of danger. To the low slot! Oh, and he stopped that rocket! Roussel's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Still lots of time left in the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Takes control of the puck. And that pass attempt is deflected. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Play is blown dead with the offside.
Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Lucelle's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Here's a short pass to John LOL. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call. Not much between a good play and a tripping penalty as he's fishing around for the puck, but he gets it tied up when the guy skates. Truex won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. And he takes the dish. Quick feed to Truex. And that's blocked in traffic. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck under man. Sends it ahead to Nadeau. The Maple Leafs will play from the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Bernier. And he takes the pass. freezy has got one goal in this tied game. You know he'd like to find another one. It's only a game where you have to be mad. Crushed him in the corner. And that pass doesn't go. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Send the Leafs out of the box. Pretty hard to have a more low intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Fires it on net. Great read as he crouches down to block it. Scores! And just like that, they got in front. I like the way they've been playing here, James. It felt like they were going to get a scoring chance. They get one, and they don't miss. Now they've got the lead. Montreal's up by one here in this second period. Kind of a surprise, though, Ray. Yeah, they haven't played very well at all, and while they have the lead, it's not been a game they're very comfortable with. Let's it go! Comes up with the glove save! Well past the midway mark of this period, Montreal's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Roussel's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Harvey's won the faceoff. Tosses it on to St. Louis. Moves it to Trulé. He got all of that one. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. We got a whistle offside to call. John LOL's elite edges zone ability is that smooth skating he has even when making sudden turns. He carries momentum into his turns to make better plays all over the ice, guys. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. There's a shot. Scores! 300 for his career! You get to this number because you can score at consistent levels. You've got the ability to get to the net. You'll grind out some ugly ones. But you've got the skill to score from just about anywhere. 300 is a sweet number. Guys, that's the mark of a true goal scorer right there. His 300th career goal in the EASHL clubs. Many more to come. Move! That's a big time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took the stop. And look at this. They have answered back, and they needed one. Well, you could see them talking on the bench that they needed a response. Somebody had to be able to lead this team, and they get one back. Now they're back in the game. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. In the final moments of this period, Toronto's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Quick pass to Drouin. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Lines it quickly to Frazee. Centering key. And that's off target.
Montreal's got it in their own zone. Slides it over to Bernier. Slides the puck to Frazee. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. From center, they get into the attacking area. Goes full circle with the puck. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Takes the feed up ahead. Nadeau's got it in the offensive zone. Here he is with the backhander. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Welcome back, James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Toronto's domination of the puck possession battle over the first two periods would make you think they're in a different spot. Yet they trail by one. They can get back into this game if they can play the way they played in those first two periods. St. Louis stick handling in his own zone. Shot! Kicked away. Nice pad save by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Marchand. And that's just out of reach. Toronto's got the puck. Quick feed to Bernier. Slick feed. Looking for space inside the D zone. And he slides it quickly to Frazee. Oh, man, he got hit again. Man, he must feel like a pinata out there. He's been on his backside a half a dozen or more times tonight. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Puck grab by Drouin. Shot! Oh, kick, save, and a butte. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Oh, and some lost momentum as the puck leaves the zone. Can work. Tosses it to Harvey. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Montreal's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Feeds it on over to Nadeau. Nadeau's got it against the boards. Here he is on the tip. Big time stop there. Here they Move. come on the attack. Oh, don't ignore that, James. I don't know if it sounded big where you were. It is now, I'm telling you. Montreal's on the attack. Got eyes him on the play. He gets that one, too. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Whistle blows, stopping the play. You can see the frustration on the bench beside me here. This is just not an opportune time to take that penalty. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they've failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to watch that away, not let it affect the current power play. And the puck departs the zone. Been a couple times tonight, James. I thought this game was going to stretch out, but it's none. And it's not going anywhere. This is how this league has become with the parity in. Oh, tremendous stop on the play! Who sells 
going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Drouet is ready for the draw on this man advantage. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Harvey's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. John Elwell's ready to go. Penalty expires, and when you look at where things sit right now, that's a huge, huge play by the penalty killers. Sometimes a power play is more critical than others. Lots of pressure on that five-man group. They didn't get it done, though. They missed it a really important time. Grabs the puck. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. Dishes it to Harvey. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. And there's the save. Big stop by the keeper. He gets out right in front of that puck. It's in the low slot, and he keeps himself big. There's nowhere for the puck to find a hole. Here's a shot, and that goes off towards off a body. Let's get the call. Now you look to your penalty killers. Can they nurse this one goal lead home? The Maple Leafs once again send out their power play unit. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is to be confident without pressing. Just get the puck to the net, make the penalty killer stress. He probably wouldn't make that play about 10 minutes ago, but now with a lead in the dying moments of the game, that's a safe, smart play. Frazee's able to take that quick pass. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Oh, man, that's going to be a tough one to overcome. They've got to find the tying goal, and now they're shorthanded. Puck set to drop. We've got some 4-on-4 four four coming up. The Maple Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Bernier, and that's knocked away. And he takes the feed. Puck picked up by Marchand. Moves it to Drouin. Makes a move in front. Scores! And what a goal here, James. But it's the tape-to-tape -tape pass that makes it all possible. The zone ability is the vision to see the play and the execution of the pass. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Maple Leafs look to start the transition game. He's got a step. Oh, and look who it is. His first goal with his new EASHL team. The excitement that he displays when that puck goes into the net, you know how much this means. You will never forget your first goal. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Nice job tying up his opponent. Montreal's got the puck. Quick shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Challenge accepted, and they picked up the W as a result. Yeah, they made the challenge. They looked around, and they wanted to play a competitive game. Looks like they made the right choice.